Okay, here we go. Hey guys, Raymond here again, R Hatfield Photography, Indianapolis wedding photographer. I am here today to give you six tips for taking better photos at your friend's wedding. All right guys, I am a huge fan of experiences. I think that they are essential to creating a well-rounded person. See, nobody eats escargot because they crave it. They eat it because they wanna know what it tastes like or they just wanna tell people that they've had it before. By the way, it's not as bad as your brain thinks that it is. One of my favorite experiences is going to a wedding. They have everything. They have friends, laughs, cake, love, beer, and of course, cake. See, these are the types of experiences that you will want to remember when you're old. And what better way to remember your friend's wedding than by taking photos? So here are a few tips to taking better photos with your phone at your friend's wedding. First is, focus on your story. I know your friends are getting married and it's kind of their day, but odds are is that they've paid somebody to come and capture their day. So take photos of yourself. Let's see what you wore. Let's see who you were with. Let's see what you drank. Let's see what you ate. And of course, let's see your awesome dance dance moves. <laughs> Number two. Number two, let us know where you are. Take photos of the church. Take photos of signs that the couple made. Take photos uh, when you arrive to the reception. Take photos of people going into the reception. Take photos of the empty tables. Take photos of the empty chairs. And then at the end of the night, take one last photo outside of the reception. These photos are the glue that's gonna help you tell a story better to your friends when you show them all these cool pics. Okay, number three. Number three, shoot the details. Have you ever heard that beauty is in the details? Well, it's true. The couple have spent the last year or more planning this wedding. They've been painstakingly deciding between mint or spearmint tablecloths, uh, rose or salmon ties for the groomsmen, and I'm not even gonna get into how many different options there are for table centerpieces. There's like a million, maybe two million. Maybe, maybe three minutes. Point is, the couple spent a lot of time deciding these details because it represents who they are. So, so take photos of those things. All right, number four. Four. Oh, get closer. Get closer? Yeah, see, your phone takes great photos, right? Yeah. Well, you know where it sucks at taking photos? Zoom, or lack thereof. There's no good zoom for a cell phone camera. And that pinching to zoom in, no, that's garbage. It just it just lowers the resolution of your photos and nobody wants that. No one's gonna think that you're a weirdo taking photos at a wedding. So just get closer. When you get closer to something, it becomes more compelling to look at. So you really have no excuse not to get any closer to whatever you're taking a photo of. Except maybe the kiss. Don't, just stay in your seat. Or just watch the kiss. You don't even have to take a picture of it. That's where the professional comes in. Anyway, just get closer in general. Number five. I just took a picture in the mirror. Okay, number five is turn your phone sideways. I get it. It's easy to take photos the way that you've kind of been trained to hold your phone. Oh, yeah, I'm booked that day. I'm sorry, Vanessa, I'm booked. But tall photos just don't tell enough of the stories. When you turn your phone sideways and gets wide, you add a whole lot more context to your stories, and that's what really makes them compelling. And you will feel more connected to the photos that you're taking. And isn't that kind of the point of taking pictures? All right, we made it to six. Six is share your photos, just not all of them. You're more than likely gonna take somewhere north of, I don't know, 10,000 photos at your friend's wedding, right? Awesome. And now it's time to share them, but please, 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 don't share them all. If you're uploading the photos to Facebook, please keep it to like 10, 15, 20 absolute max. Nothing is more boring than looking at a dozen photos of that pulled pork sandwich that you had at the wedding, no matter how delicious it is. And uh, it sounds really delicious, seriously. One photo's enough, maybe two. Yeah, okay, two. Two isn't enough. Just post your absolute favorite photos, and I promise you it'll make everybody jealous. It's kind of like that saying, you can have too much of a good thing. And wedding photos pertains to this perfectly, especially from guests. No offense. Better yet, use Animoto for a slideshow. Seriously, they have a free app for your phone. You have no excuse not to do it. And people are way more likely to look at your photos if there's some awesome music behind it. <laughs> if I had to sum up all of this into just one tip to taking better photos at your friend's wedding, it would be this. Don't. No, seriously, just don't take photos. And I know that that's weird coming from a wedding photographer, but just hear me out. The couple invited you to their wedding because they wanted you to be a part of the happiest day of their life, right? So you kind of owe it to them to be there and be present in the moment. So create memories, drink beer, eat cake. Apparently you're a pretty cool person, otherwise the couple probably wouldn't have invited you in the first place. So spend your time enjoying watching your friends getting married, seriously. It's not every day that you go to weddings and it's not every day that somebody promises their life to somebody else and vice versa. 
Barbosa. Watch it, take it in, like really enjoy it. Seriously, seriously, it's really awesome. There's something about actually looking at it because honestly, next week you're never gonna look at those photos on your phone again. And all that you're gonna remember is watching the wedding from your three and a half inch screen. Nobody wants to do that, seriously. Just don't take photos. Somebody's paid to be there just to take photos so that you could look at them later. So right now, go kill that pulled pork sandwich. It's delicious. I promise. Okay, maybe maybe take just one photo of that too and send them to me. Raymond at rhatfieldphotography.com. Guys, this was my six tips for taking better photos at your friend's wedding. Hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like it. Maybe subscribe if you want to, but only if you're a cool person. Seriously, I don't want any jerks subscribing to this channel, all right? Again, I hope that you enjoyed. I'll see you later. I'm out. Uh, oh, I'm sick. Later.